Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antivirus Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 3. And um, we're picking up right off from where we left the last episode, so I still don't have all achievements. I actually haven't even gotten a single other achievement. This this one's actually really good, like seriously. Um, now other reality runs are actually not might not have these achievements, so they're actually they actually might be slower, surprisingly, and maybe the glyphs might might be really starting to help at this point because like this this is like more powerful the later game you are. So, I mean, what, what I mean, game, I mean later reality. So, yeah, let, let, let's start. We're going to start with just a couple of infinity upgrades here. And then back to infinity dimensions. Like, I only get one. So, yeah, I really have to do this. Actually, what's interesting, this achievement is literally like the same effect as the glyphs. And, I mean, you can see before I enter this challenge, I actually want to see, like, um now you can see how much how overpowered everything is or how much i'm getting like for example base antivirus production is this much antivirus dimensions three multiplier um a lot of it is purchased a lot of it is dim boosts or dimension boosts um, a tiny bit is based on achievement rewards um achievement 92 is somehow getting worse and worse um <laughs> Which is, oh, it's because all the Antimatter Dimensions are significantly faster in the first 60 seconds of Infinity. That, that actually really helps some of the runs. Um, and then, and then, there is a bit of it is the Glyph effect. So, the glyph, Glyphs are doing stuff. Um, infinity Challenges are, are doing a bunch, but really, most of it comes from, of course, Infinity Power. And you can see, you can just keep going down and down. There's, you know, thing dimensions, amount of highest dimension, just achievement. Like, there's just so much to explore. It's so cool. And there's, like, tick speed, or there's just there's just so much. Like, I, I absolutely love this. Um, like, it's just, it's amazing. I, I, okay. I, I, enough aside this is <laughs> I, I just found you know this whole thing really interesting so yeah let's suffer through infinity challenge four so i can get the first few galaxies very quickly because i because like yes the costs are increasing but they're not increasing by all that much and i'm able to get surprisingly amount of a surprising amount of challenges so i'm gonna press a to disable all buyers and actually speaking of which i'm going to um I, actually no let's see i'm gonna i'm gonna disable all our buyers here but enable the eighth dimension auto buyer the sacrifice auto buyer and that's about it actually um and well there is the feasting on behind achievement because of you know how it happens over time and now I'm just going to lose a reset and be careful, well, even though I bought two fifth dimensions, but that's not going to really matter. It's also in this challenge where I can just buy as many tick speed upgrades as I want. Um, so I think I can just buy as many, like, seventh dimensions as I can without having to worry. And yeah, I, I, I'm going to be able to make this. Um, Wait, no, I need E13,000. Maybe I need a little more. Yeah, it's actually going to take a while. Take a while. The tick speed is really helping, but it's not helping by all that much. I'm just I'm just going to keep purchasing the dimensions. Like, they're, they're helping. They're re they really are helping. I can get quite a lot of them. Okay, maybe they actually aren't helping all that much. What is even this challenge again? I, I'm actually going to take a look. It's Oh, it's, oh, it's only the latest... I, I think I was I was thinking of the Infinity Challenge 5 strategy instead of the Infinity Challenge 4 strategy. So this is the 7654321. Oh, we're so close now. There we go. Yep, I was trying to do Infinity Challenge 5 strats for Infinity Challenge 4 EP. 
<laughs> because I'm like, why aren't the costs increasing? And, oh, that that's why. It's Infinity Challenge 4, not Infinity Challenge 5. So now we're just going to have every auto buyer except the Big Crunch auto buyer. And, I mean, it isn't actually that much faster. It's because Infinity Challenge 5 is a reward. It's really the big one. Infinity Challenge 4 is a reward. is isn't actually that powerful. But I got to do everything I can for Infinity Challenge 5 because that, that's really the rough one. And things are moving faster. Which is nice. I mean, that's always nice. Now I'm up to a Google Infinity Points. So that's also nice. It's not as nice as 69, but it's always, it's always cool to see a Google. Uh, like, something. So, anyway, now let's disable the auto buyers. Except the 8th auto buyer and the sacrifice auto buyer. And... Enter, actually, after I get this, enter the fifth Infinity Challenge. So, this this is the big one. Like, this is the one that... Actually, what if I... I'm going to try something. I'm going to I'm gonna try to enable all of my auto buyers, see if I can get anywhere. I can't. Um, that is a shame. I, I think the strategy is... Set everything except eight to buy singles. Um, this isn't the fastest, but um, it will get me dimension boosts. Like, you can see how it does increase by a lot. Uh, but because I have so much antimatter, that is actually not a problem. So, it is somewhat slow, but that may be... That may be okay. I mean, maybe I can try to speed up by... By... No, I can't even do that. I was trying to, like, type in the keys. But... Like, the hotkeys. But, yeah, that isn't really helping at all. So... That's okay. Let's see, we have... We have 16 antimatter galaxies. I'm just gonna get as much as I can, I guess. Um, some of the... Oh no, the tick speed auto bar is not going. It's just or no, is it going? Um oh it is going. Um okay, that's maybe that's that's why all these costs are so much higher. Um This is fine for now, actually. I mean all I really need is just more antimatter galaxies so I can reach E sixteen thousand five antimatter. It looks like uh, I thought for a second I was hitting my limit. For antimatter galaxies. Okay, I was interrupted for a bit, and it looks like I've actually now completed the challenge just automatically. I didn't even need to do anything else. So now let's just go back into our auto buyers, disable this, and this is really the only one we need to disable. Everything is going to be so much more OP now. Or is it? Oh, it's singles, that's why. Um, yeah, buy it. I always need to buy max. And now everything is OP because, yeah, I've already unlocked the next two infinity challenges. And, yeah, this is like 10 orders of magnitude of infinity points. So, yeah, this is obviously overpowered. Someone's gonna quote me on this. <laughs> Yeah, ma ma make a meme out of this. This is obviously overpowered. But maybe it's not overpowered because, you know, this is the second time, you know, going through all this. And this is just, you know, in reality. Like, because I I've done this kind of thing before with, you know, Quantum and New Game Plus Plus Plus, which that is uh, New Game Plus Plus Plus's post Eternity layer. But it looks like I just need to complete the rest of the Infinity Challenges because I'm starting to hit another little wall. So these are going to be a lot easier because I w it's really just click enter, don't change anything, and you're good to go. Or if you're not good to go, just progress a little bit more. It's not that hard. Only four and five are the ones I need to actually kind of watch out for. You can see I'm gaining like... 
bit over a percent every galaxy, and this is enough to big crunch and complete the challenge. We're also going to do 7, which is even easier because no galaxies. Um, I should be able to do 8. I'm not quite sure if I can do 8 here. Um, I'll take a look if I can get any infinity dimensions while I'm at it. Um, I can. This will just help things move a little bit faster or help with completion of the challenge. Um, it looks like... Hmm, am I able to make it? Yeah, I am able to make it. There we go. Boom. All infinity challenge, challenges completed. And I'm going to easily be able to um, unlock Replicanti. So this is... Um, things may slow down a little bit here. Because Replicanti is very slow and it resets every infinity. So... Like, there's going to be a big burst of the initial speed from, like, infin Infinity Dimension. But, um, then after that, it's going to really come down to Replicanti. And let's see if I have any more achievements. I have one more achievement that, um, doesn't do anything at this point of the game. It's extremely helpful, like, late Eternity. But that's late Eternity. It's not gonna have any actual effect at this point in the game because i can't actually go beyond e3 away replicanti um like at this point i'm barely able to go beyond one replicanti so yeah that that's that okay i was interrupted once again for a little bit less time and so i'm able to get a little bit farther i have seven replicanti which really isn't that much um Looks like here, the Max Replicanti Galaxy upgrade can be purchased endlessly, but costs increase more rapidly above 100 Replicanti Galaxies, even more so above 1,000. That's, that's, that reminds me of New Game++, Plus 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 actually. Because New Game++, Plus Plus Plus, I think, also has Replicanti Galaxy scaling. Um, it's probably not exactly the same as this, but it's like, same idea. Um, so yeah, E192 Infinity Points, I barely even need Replicanti at all, which is kind of crazy. It's an entire mechanic that's just useless almost. Well, actually it's not useless, because here's the thing, it's not resetting. I don't know what this is, maybe it's, is it reality It's doing this? Um, let's see, um, is it, it's not this. It's not my glyphs. It's probably some kind of achievement that's that's making it not reset. Um, it's not. Um, it's not even this. It's not like anything like this here. Um, I did not know this actually gives two times eternity. So this means I'm going to be getting six eternities from my first eternity. I I don't know what which one it is. It, it it's something and it's. This, that's actually very helpful. Well, I don't think I'm going to save my Replicanti galaxies. The Replicanti itself gives a significant multiplier to my infinity dimensions. And and now I kind of want to get this next infinity dimension because it's starting to slow down slightly. And getting infinity dimensions would, you know, obviously help. Now let's see if I can get any more of these. I can get no more of these. So... Things are actually, it, it's weird. It's like, it's just because, it's just the nature of Replicanti. Like, this stage of the game is just very, very idle. And much slower if you try to play actively. And a lot of the early, re, I'm, I'm just going to call it early game. I'm referring to each reality as like a separate game, I guess. Like, these early game buffs are not going to do much, but wait, no, I, I thought for a second I could get time theorems, but no, I need to unlock eternity first. So that's, that's a little shame, but that's okay. Still haven't quite gotten to the, the next infinity dimension. We're very close. So I kind of want to push yeah, There you go. Next infinity dimension. This is going to. Um, give me a little, uh, a small burst of speed, but I think I really have to just wait for 
Replicante at this stage, and I'm pretty sure like getting E308 Replicante is gonna be it's gonna be crazy because it's gonna allow me to do like it's gonna allow me to do a lot because of how like how much it's gonna be boosting my infinity dimensions. I mean, this actually isn't really going up all that much anymore, but maybe I'm not. I'm not really sure. Maybe maybe other achievements will also help more. Like, um, this is useless. This is um, this is actually useful, but not until eternity. This is useless. This stage. This is actually very very good. Um, extremely useful. Like. Almost makes, you know, the Eternity Milestones almost, not useless, but, well, definitely not useless, but, um, and also, yeah, there's actually two new Milestones here. Um, again, I think they're just poor from mobile, where it's about Eternities and Infinities. So that's like, it's really good quality of life stuff that really should have been here before the reality update. Like, they should have just been in, like, a quality of life patch, but whatever, that is okay. But, yeah, it looks like we really just have to wait at this point. Or, or not. We can get a couple of these upgrades. But, no, I, I, seriously, I think I do need to wait a little bit to really get anywhere. So, next episode, hopefully, I am going to reach Eternity. And... This is where things are going to start getting a little crazy. Because eternity is eternity. There's going to be time studies. And it's just going to be interesting having to go through all the eternity challenges again. And then there's dilation. And it looks like this is produced by 100. Because it was tough to get the time theorems. And yeah, it's going to be interesting. I will have all achievements by then. So things will really get look at a little faster but it's like i think this like late like the very late game like post e4000 i'm gonna be trying to push my turning points due to trying to get as many glyphs and reality machines as possible like that that's what's really gonna take a lot of time but we're we're still not even that eternity so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.